so I've been looking at doing a makeup inventory which is something I've seen a lot of people doing and I think it's an interesting concept to uh, take stock of your makeup to go through and I have been sorting my lipsticks I have a lot of lipsticks I'm thinking I might do a makeup bullet journal with it but I'm not sure how to like if that's something you'd be interested in doing or if I should just do it for my own fun let me know down below and what I've ended up doing is initially I was going to arrange them by brand but then I realized that it makes more sense to arrange them by color and they fit in this bag so I've organized them based on color family that I think they belong in I definitely could be wrong because a lot of them are fairly simple so let me show you the color families we have and I'm going to go through and we're going to try and do some ruthless decluttering on these lipsticks because I don't know when I bought so many. But this being the first video in this series of lipstick declutters, I'm going to show you the lipsticks. We're going to do lipstick swatches and based on that I'm then going to declutter predominantly because I haven't used many of these lipsticks enough. So I've got my pink brown lipsticks my pink lipsticks which will be today's video I've got my glosses I've got some fun colors I've got corals I've got blotted lips I've got reds And the final is browns. Today being the first run through does feel the most stressful to me. I'm going to quickly count all of my pink lipsticks. Alright, so starting out we have 25 pink lipsticks. Our first one being Humble Pie from Colourpop that I'm currently wearing. Now I feel like I should set a goal of how many I should get rid of at least. No one needs 25 pink lipsticks. So should I say like get rid of at least five? So let's start out with our first lipstick. Like what? Our second one. So Humble Pie, I actually really enjoy this colour. I think it looks cute. Alright, I think we can just go over the staining I already have because it, it's just going to keep happening. So Glan, and I, I love this case. I bought this after a really bad day. And this is number, I think it's like 888. I don't know, I feel classy when I pull this one out, especially because it has the pretty thing there. It's also another really bright pink stain. Alright, we've got Colourpop Ultra Satin in Double Tap. <sighs> this is my whole problem. I don't even like this shade and I, I want it still. I don't know, like... It is nice, isn't it? No, alright, I'm getting rid of this one. This one is leaving. Like, it's not bad. I don't mind it. With an, uh, like a darker lip liner, it could look nice. But I've never pulled it out. And <laughs> it's not going to happen. Let's go into another Colourpop. And we've got Colourpop Lippy in Gold Digger. Now I will say, so I organized these by swatching them on a piece of paper. So it's not always going to be correct. Like this is more of a ready color. I like this. It's really quite nice. All right, it's staying. All right, let's go in to Kat Von D Bachelorette and I'll lip swatch this. I love this one. It's so pretty. Staying. I'm gonna end up looking. I don't know. There we have this, but hey, we let's just go going through the six. So I've got ColourPop in Bound. Oh, this is a glossy. This just doesn't do anything for me. 
like the other one I got rid of does a lot more for me than this one it's pretty but no and I don't know the best approach because I'm always going to have lip colours that I'm not going to get rid of um, like should I swatch the ones that I know I'm not getting rid of first and then go through the ones that I'm more likely to like get rid of what do you reckon how do you approach it if you film these videos or how do you reckon I should do it if you like watching this sort of stuff so I've got Huda Booty and Gossip Girl pretty sure I'm not getting rid of this like it's a really nice pink oh I'm gonna get bored of seeing pink on me I see how this works um, I really enjoy the formula of that one it's very lightweight this one I probably should get rid of but you actually can't buy this anymore this is OCD cosmetics or obsessive compulsive cosmetics in lip tar lip tar in magnolia I think it's too much for me I've worn it before I, I like I know it's nice it's like got a minty smell to it which is really weird But I don't know, I'm just not feeling it today. And also you can't even buy this anymore, so it's not worth it. Got three down. I'm so excited. Alright. Let's go into my flower beauty English rose. I mean it's nice, I like it. The formula I know doesn't wear very long. But it's a, it's a nice pink. I think I'll leave it in my collection just because I like and it's not even because I'm super into it just that I know I just bought this like super recently all right and I've got a long com here and this is a rouge in love 332m so it's like 32mm but it's got like some left it says 62j201 so it's nice it's quite a sheer formula I think I'm happy to let this go though. Mm. Or is this super handy for travel? Alright. I think this is going to come for me on my trip. Just because it's quite small, compact, easy to pack, easy to keep in a bag. And I do like the colour. Pack them for my trip and then if I lose them I don't really care. Alright and then we've got You Know Mass from Colourpop. I already know I'm quite fond of this shade. Mmm. Actually, do I like this? Mm. I liked just watching it the other day, but now wearing it, it's just like another one of those sh shades. And if I was going to keep it, I'd rather keep the double scoop one. Should I just keep this one? I'm just going to put so this as double scoop. I just wanted to see them next to each other and see what they did, so <laughs> I just put it in the middle. But I'd almost rather keep this one then keep Unimus. All right, we're gonna get rid of Unimus, and I'm gonna put double scoop back in the game. Well, let's keep on. So I've got Rouge and Love, and this is three three seven. This is the gloss. Huh. It should always be in the gloss section. Nice formula. I like it. Nice color. I'm not super into it. It's gonna go on the travel section because I do like it, but I just don't. I don't need it. Um, flamboyant from Jeffree Star. This almost could go on the fun colours because it's a metallic. I mean, I like it and it's quite bold. I know I've got some other bold ones coming up and this is probably... Mm, yeah, the formula is probably getting a bit old. I think I'm happy to see this one go. Oh, am I getting better at this? My lips are getting dry. And they hate this already. Alright, so let's go in and we've got the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Prague. It's a really nice soft lip colour actually. Mm, yes, I like it. Staying. I don't know, it feels a bit special. Alright. Let's go into another NYX. This is High Voltage Lipstick in HVLS 07. 
So because I put foundation on my lips now, it's like causing a few issues. The way the lipsticks go on. Mm, this is a very creamy formula. I feel like it wouldn't last very long. It's nice, but I think I can happily get rid of this one. Let's stick, this is like my final. I've got the Maybelline Vivid Liquid in Berry Boost. Ooh. Oh, this is nice. All right, that one's staying. I like this one. Just very vibrant. Oh, I've got the Australis Velua Lips in Beijing. But this is a really nice color. I don't have that much blade. I like it. All right, it's staying. So this is a uh, Revlon, the shade Pink Velvet. This is nice. It's like nothing special. No matter though, it looks cute. But that can go. I also like have no idea how old that one is, and I'm fairly certain it's years. I've got the Too Faced TF20 one. I know this one's definitely staying. Look, it's just such a pretty. I wish I like was able to get the full. Like I wish I could afford to buy the whole collection. Because I had so many pretty shades in this that were like so glittery and just pretty. I love, I love these shadows. I love, um, I love this. I love the shade. Now I did swatch the Jeffree Star lipsticks that I had the other day, but we're going to do it again. So I've got Starfish and a bullet. It's nice. Um, I'm gonna put that like in a maybe. Like I like it, but not heaps. And then I've got Baby Spice. I wore this the other day and I like this one quite a lot. I feel like there's not that a huge amount of difference. Like this one here is Baby Spice and this is Starfish. I think I'm gonna keep Baby Spice. I feel like that one is just a bit more. I don't know. I like I like it more. Starfish is a really nice shade, but I just I don't need it. And we are stained, yay! And then I've also got Ice Cream Boulevard. This probably yeah. So adding that in, that's a bit more stand out here as the shade here. So let's try. I mean, it's like a really pale pink. I don't know, I kind of, I, I'm, I would like to have some fun with it and use it properly because I haven't really done that yet. And then I've got Patrick Star, the matte collab, and this is She Better Work. It's really nothing too special. Like, I want it for sentimental reasons, but I actually don't really, I'm not super into it. So I'll keep it for that reason. But I might get rid of it at a later date. And then we only have two more left. Well, let's finish off. Let's do the Jeffree Star. This is Romeo. I love the shade. It's amazing. I'm never getting rid of it. Though at this point, I have to admit, I'm a bit bored of seeing all these pinks. Let me know if this is something you like seeing. I feel like... Eh. Um, but this is a good way to force me to declutter. I uh, like to actually see what the lips look like on me. And what I think. So this is uh, Urban Decay Comfort Matte in Menace. Oh, and I completely forget I even have a shade. Oh, this just makes me feel classy. All right, this one's staying. Great. So I would say technically I have decluttered definitely more than I thought I would. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. That's really good. So these are the Lancome ones that I'm just going to put in travel and when I get back I'm going to declutter them, which I think is reasonable. But I thought they're nice shades that I'm happy to go traveling with. And the final look is like a, a variety of different colors to get rid of. So I'm curious to move on with my life. 
um, and to continue on doing some more lipstick lip flutters, do let me know if this is something you'd like me to see, you would enjoy seeing me do more of. It's quite a long, <laughs> it's quite hard for me to part with products. Even now, these products are now going to go into a separate spot until I am fully ready to part with them, which will be once I finish all the lipstick declutters, just because then I can rearrange them and make sure I'm completely confident. Also, like, there's no rush to get rid of anything. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was interesting. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of the colours I ended up getting rid of. Did I make a mistake? <laughs> Let me know what do you think of the colours I kept. Do you reckon I should get rid of some more of them? Uh, thank you so much for watching. I absolutely appreciate it and adore you. Mwah.